how many molecules of this gas are in 50.1 liters of gas at STP specifically? Well, in order to get molecules, or how many, we're going to need to count the number of things that there are, which means we're going to have to convert liters to moles. Then, because we're asked for number of molecules, we are then going to have to do an additional calculation to get the actual number of molecules. Now, this question asks you at STP. Now, one option for you is to use PV equals NRT, the ideal gas law. Standard temperature and pressure has a P and a T given in it. Volume is what you're given here. R is a constant, and so you can calculate what N is. But because it's STP, which is a very special set of conditions, I also happen to know a shortcut called molar volume. At STP, every single mole of gas takes up 22.4 liters. That's just a constant that you may have been introduced to. This here is called the molar volume, which I believe is called V little m sometimes. The idea being, if you're given liters, you can divide liters by 22.4 liters per mole and end up with the number of moles. That's volume divided by molar volume. On my calculator, I'm going to do 50.1, 50. .1, 50 0.1 and divide it by 22.4. That gives me 2.2366. Now that's the number of moles of gas that I have. Now we were asked for number of molecules. How do you convert moles to molecules? That's pretty straightforward. You're going to take the number of moles and multiply it by Avogadro's number. 2.23 six six moles times Avogadro's number is a constant 6.022 times 10 to the 23. Now the units on that are whatever you're counting per mole. I'm going to write molecules per mole here. Notice that the units of moles cancel out kind of like liters did here to leave you with moles. And here I'm left with number of molecules. That's times 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23. Now I'm using a button on my calculator called EXP, which gives me the times 10 to the power of, um, your, your calculator might say EE, or it actually might say times 10 to the power of. Just make sure that when you do your calculation, you get 1.34 something times 10 to the 24. If you're off, then you're typing something into the calculator wrong. So this is 1.34, I'm going to go 69, times 10 to the 24 molecules. And uh, we should also do significant figures here. This is three significant figures. That was three significant figures. So I need three significant figures. One, two, three, that four gets rounded up to 1.35 times 10 to the 24 molecules. Now, the last thing I want to point out here is that the fact that this was propane, C3H8, played no role here at all. The reason is we're assuming it's an ideal gas by using either PV equals NRT or this molar volume. And for an ideal gas, it doesn't matter what the identity of the gas particles are. If this had been how many molecules of nitrogen, N2, are in that many liters, it'd be the same answer. It doesn't matter what the gas is. What matters is you can convert liters to moles and then convert moles to molecules if you're asked. Hey, thanks for being with me and best of luck.